finally, in the Slack section, we're going to look at praise. So there's lots of different ways you can give praise to pupils. Most of the time, we probably do this verbally, but it's sometimes nice to celebrate this in writing too. So I'm going to show you a few ways to do this that are a bit more exciting than just writing well done on a piece of work. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the praise function within Teams. So if I go into my Teams page... Um, and I go to any of the assignments that I've posted or any comments or any posts. Basically, if I tap reply and then I tap the plus button on the left, I've already got the option for praise here, but you won't if you've not used it before. So if this is your first time using this kind of app part, you want to tap the plus add app button, which is a plus symbol, and you want to find praise and tap add on the right hand side. Once you've done this, you can tap that plus button tap praise and then you put in the name of the pupil or pupils you would like to praise. So I'm going to put in this one. So just start typing the name of the pupil and it should pop up. And I'm going to say that this is for, so there's loads and loads of different options here. So I'm going to give one for growth. I'm going to say what an amazing improvement in your second book report. Well done. Okay, once I've done that, I can change the background to whatever colour I'd like. You've got 500 characters that you can use to write that note. You don't have to write a note. You can just put um, the title. Um, and then when I'm finished, I can preview it. So you can see here what um, she's going to receive. So an amazing improvement on your second book report. Well done. And it's like a nice little kind of praise almost postcard there. When I'm happy with it, I can tap send. And that will then be sent to the pupil. So I think that's a really, really nice way um, to send a little bit of praise in a nice, simple way using Teams. Another way to give feedback is you could design and share digital certificates, praise postcards or stamps. There are lots of ways to design them, but I really like using Canva. So let's have a look at some examples. So Canva is an app, it's also a website, so you can go on to it however works best for you. Um, you do need to create an account. Um, I would also check with your school if you do have an education account already or a team that you can join. So it says join a school team on the left there. Um, or you can just have your own account, but it means you might not have access to some of the pro features. Now, when I go into Canva, um, as I said, there is an option to open an app. So if I'm wanting to open up a new document, I would tap create a design. And then I have all the options of the different things I could create. Um, if I'm maybe wanting to do this as a poster, um, I might want our certificate, I might want to do an A4 document size, so I can tap that. Um, whatever kind of size works for you, you can also search for things like certificate and options will come up there and you can tap to open a new one. Now I'm going to do this in the app um, just because I find that a little bit easier. So you've got the option at the top to open the app. So if I do that, um, here's some that I've kind of created earlier on here. So when I first come onto Canva, there are the options down the side um, to look at design and to look at template. So if I go to design here and templates and I tap at the top, um, I can look for things that already exist. So if I type in certificates and say OK, here are lots of different templates already available as certificates. Um, so maybe I really like this one. Um, so quality work which is quite good, um, and you can edit everything that is on this slide. So it might be that I'm not doing STEM, um, it might be that I'm doing, uh, I don't know, um, geography. So I might put geography project there. Um, and obviously I would probably change the name there, so I might say this is for Ava. And I can go through and change all of this um, if I want to. I can put the date, I can put um, everything on there. I, if I want to make these for multiple pupils in my class, I can tap the duplicate button, which is beside the little lock at the top. So I tap that, that's going to make a new one. And if I want to delete any, I can just hit the bin on there as well. Um, so there's lots of different templates that are available, um, not just certificates, but other things as well. Um, and you can also design them from scratch too, if you want to um, as well. In the past, we've also created praise postcards using this instead of just certificates. So there's some examples of ones here that I've made before. So I've got this ready to go. It says, great work. I've got dear, 
question mark because I'll put the name in when I decide. Um, it, the middle is just basically a placeholder at the moment so I can put in a really personalised message there and obviously my name is there as well. Here's another similar example, so brilliant stuff. And here's another one um, which is just saying excellent work, basically. Um, so I can edit these um, to make them really, really personalised for my pupils. Um, and there's lots of ones available online, or as I said, you can make your own. You can change the colours. So if I want to change the background colour on this, um, I can just tap the slide and then tap the left hand bit at the top. It's quite intuitive um, and change the colour here to something else. Um, everything is editable. There's loads of different um, text or fonts that you can use on them. Um, you can get photos as well or elements from here. So there's loads of graphics that you can use and you can add. So you can see here and um, there's some nice trophy graphics or little star ones. Um, again, you can use the search bar and type in um, if there's anything you particularly want. So maybe I want to do some stamps. I can tap in there and then I can see the different kind of stamps that I could use. Um, I could also say stickers and then there's lots of different stickers that I could add to my slides as well. With any of these, I can also download them and then send them to pupils. So you can either tap the download button on the top right hand side, which is the arrow pointing down. You can save that image um, to your... Um, you can see it's downloading already here so I'll save that image to my camera roll or I can tap the share button which is the arrow going up the way and I can either send a view only link to pupils just if you want them to view it online or you can tap that share button you can tap download and you can choose how you want it to download. So do you want it as a PDF? Do you want it as a JPEG image, etc.? Um, and that can be downloaded to your iPad as well to then send to pupils. So there's lots of different ways that you can use it. Or you could just screenshot using your iPad. And then tap the image. And drag the corners. And then again, that'll save it to your camera roll if you tap done and save to photos um, and then send it to pupils that way if that's a little bit easier. Something else you might want to do is you might want to make stickers. So your own personalised stickers that have your Memoji in them if you'd like to. So to create your Memoji on your iPad, you want to go into notes and create a new note. You then want to go down to the smiley face emoji icon on the bottom left of your keyboard. Now, on the left hand side here, you can see my emoji because I've already made it. But if you've never made one before, there'll be a button available that says make emoji. So you can tap that. What I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like when you do tap it. So ignore what I'm doing at the moment if you've never made one before. If you tap that new button, this is what you'll be um, confronted with. So basically you can change the colour um, of the skin, you can change the slider to make it darker and lighter, you can add things like freckles um, and different things on your cheeks, you get to choose your own hairstyle, the colour um, and what it looks like, eyebrows, eyes, shape of your head, nose, mouth, ears, etc. Whether you have facial hair or wear glasses um, and also things like clothing and headgear. And once you've done all of those and made those choices, you tap done and it'll basically give you so many different options for your Memoji that look like this. So my Memoji that I've created is now in lots of different poses and I can use those different ones for different things. Now let's say for example I want to make a sticker for my class or a stamp that I can use with my class um, and I want to include my Memoji in it. So maybe I want one that has a thumbs up. So if I tap this it then inserts it into my note. Now I want to save this as a photo. So if I tap onto it again tap the share button on the top right hand side so the arrow pointing up out of the box and tap save image that'll save it to my camera roll. If I then go back into Canva, so I'm going to go into my Canva app and I'm going to go to a new slide or create a new slide so I'm going to run to the bottom here. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to try and cut that So if I go into Canva and I open one of my things that I want to create my stamp on, what I can then do is I can split my screen. So I can tap those three dots at the top, tap split view, and then open my camera roll. And now at the bottom of my camera roll, you can see that picture of me. Now what I want to do is I want to drag this over. So hold it, drag it, 
and drop it into Canva. And you can see there is then going to be uploaded. You can see some of the other ones that I've uploaded earlier as well. Now, if I tap that, it's going to insert it into Canva and I can resize this, make it bigger, smaller, etc. Move it around. And for my stamp, I wanted to say something. So I'm going to tap the text and I'm going to find some text that I really like. Or I'm going to go to Elements and type in Well Done. And then See All. And there's loads of different options here of different Well Dones. Now, I really like this one. So I'm just going to tap it and then resize it and put it in. And now I've got a lovely little stamp that has well done and my emoji, so teacher's emoji on it. If I want to use that, I can either screenshot it or I can tap that share button and download it using one of the options. So I can download it as a PNG, I can make it have a transparent background, it's up to you. Easiest way to do it is probably just to screenshot it. So I'm just going to go like this, make it the right size, hit my home button and the lock button, quickly tap that resize it like this, tap done and save to photos. And that means now that in my photos, I now have my new sticker that I can use or stamp with my class um, and I can upload that. So if I was on Teams, for example, and say I'm on this assignment and I want to upload a nice wee sticker for one of my pupils that's turned in their work, I just tap the plus button or the attachment button which is the little paper clip and I can then just upload from this device and I can say take from photo library and then this will come up and I can tap that well done stamp tap add and that'll add it on so then whenever I leave my comment my pupil will also get that little stamp alongside it as well when we did that whiteboard too I could literally put it into that whiteboard so again if I split my screen view open photos, go into that whiteboard, again I can hold, drag over and drop it into the whiteboard and there you can see it. So now when they go onto the whiteboard have a look at the feedback, they now have the wee stamp as well for me. So it's a really nice way to use it, you can insert it into things um, like docs or anything else that you're marking for pupils as well. Um, so just a nice way to kind of give that feedback but in a really personalised way.